All right, wanted to do a um, video on a new board that I made uh, for my two-year-old. So here you have it. He likes to play with uh, switches and buttons and all sorts of things like that. So went ahead and made him this. Um, basically, it's a 3D printed case. There's batteries in here. Um, the uh, LEDs are WS2812Bs, I believe. They're addressable LEDs. So um, it only takes one one pin from this uh, AT Tiny 84 chip to control all the LEDs here, um, and then it's got little capacitors for each LED. We've got our ISP port, so you can upload new code <coughs> as you uh, as you deem. So if you like different different things, you can switch it up infinitely um, forever. So we'll start off by turning on red, and we'll go ahead and hit the light, and you can see that we've got. Uh, red scrolling across. I can press on mode 3. That will switch it up so that it's kind of a theater chase very quickly. And then you can mix the colors. So you can see this one's red. So we'll kick on a green. Oops. Kick on a green. Now it turns yellow. Um, so you can see the red and green make yellow. Turn this off goes to pure green. Switch our blue on. This actually looks like blue, but in real life it's more of an aqua marine. And then if I turn this off, uh, it looks like purple on the on the video here, but it's in real life it's actually very very dark blue. And then you can push the theater button here to make it go theater. So that's those. Um, and then we have our modes. So we can turn on uh, mode one here, and you can see it cycles through all the LEDs through all the colors, essentially a rainbow. Turn on mode two, and mode two will scroll a rainbow through all the LEDs. And uh, these look so much better in person, the camera truly does fail to capture the vivid colors that, that these LEDs create. We turn on both modes, then basically it just goes to the scroll, just a, a faster rapid scroll than we had before. Um, and it allows you to mix the colors again. So you can mix red and blue to get a purple. That actually does look purple. Drop the red and it turns more blue. Um, you can create, you know, mix and match. That'll turn it white, which doesn't look like white on the camera, but it does in person. So anyway, this gives him lots of switches to flip and things to play with. You can see it's got a little tiny power light down here just to tell you it's working. If we go ahead and open it up, you can see there's not a whole lot to it. I'll go ahead and pull this out. Like this, here's our board. I'll flip it over, you can see the power connector I've got on the back here. I can just pull that out. So here's what the back of the board looks like. Got a simple connector there. And there's the front. And here's our battery pack, a 3D printed box. Um, I'll put all the files um, for the uh, Gerber files if you want to send this to uh, your favorite board house. Um, I got this printed for $5 for five of them, so essentially this board cost me a dollar. Um, so I'll put those online. Uh, and then just a three, three AAA battery connector, and then I put this... Uh, this little guy on here for easy things. And then I use um, on my, all my 3D printing. Um, whenever I need screw holes, I use um, heat sets, um, heat set bosses to uh, allow me to screw in these uh, computer screws. So anyway, that is the device. Uh, great for a two-year-old. Um, we call him Munch for Munchkin Man. So I labeled this board the Munch Distractor and then put his name on it there. But, uh, yep, great. It's durable. He's dropped it several times, um, and it uh, seems to take a beating quite well. He enjoys flipping all the switches, um, stuff like that. And, of course, if you're making something uh, like this for your kids where they can touch it, use lead-free solder. So, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed.